right, all right, let's turn off the music. All right, let's do an audio check, audio check. Okay, switch is good, my headset's good. And just like last time, if there's any audio issues on your end or my end that I'm not noticing, please let me know so I can fix it as soon as I can so everyone can enjoy the stream. And also, welcome back to our first, no, not first, fourth, fourth stream of Stardew Valley. Um, we're going to, like, get started right where we left off. Um, I did a, I was playing a little bit off stream, like, when I, when, um, we were doing the countdown, just to clean up a little bit, and also just kind of, like, figure out, like, what I need to do for this stream, <laughs> because we made a lot of progress last stream. Uh, we are, we have two start, two stars, no, two hearts with Leah, two hearts with Marnie, and then we have one heart with Elliot, so we're doing pretty good with seducing, but we need to kind of work on the goals that we have, like, first of all, we can build a coop now, we have four grand, and we have enough wood and enough rocks, or stone, I think that's what they call it in the game, we have enough of that to build a coop, so I'm gonna run over to Robin's house right now to build it, or I'm gonna forget, and then we need to, like, work in the mine, when you reach level 40. I did water my plants off stream, but because we only have like two days left in the spring, I don't know if we're going to get any more, I don't know, like any more harvest for this season, because they're all going to die off in the summer. And then what else do we have to do? Foraging, craft a furnace, we have to do that too. So we are still going to focus on seducing. We are not, that's our main goal of the game. I know this game is revolving on farming and um taking care of your grandpa's farm but uh, my goal for the game is seducing the town <laughs> so we're not gonna ignore that it's just i feel like that we need to like start doing some of like the goal based uh challenges that study valley has for us to progress the story along and also we need to work on the um community center because i messed up i totally forgot that i had to uh work on the crop section of the community center so we need to focus on that too so we can't let seducing take our eyes off of the main goal you know we, we do have to like actually play the game but um i'm turning like a dating simulator with like a little splash of farming you know but let's focus on farming a lot more for this stream and still seduce people you know we want to keep it like fun and fresh but we need to also remember our grandfather's legacy and take care of his farm so we'll get the coop build now i think it's gonna take like two or three days like in game for it to complete and oh, i don't know what wait do i have enough no yeah, yeah i do i do oh my god i thought i thought i didn't have enough wood or something now i don't know where to put the coop and my main save i put it by the greenhouse we don't really have that much room i mean it'll be like pretty pretty like a tight fit and when i was like looking at people's like, to get inspiration for um, the forest farm, like, the design and layout, people were, like, putting it in the grass, and I thought that was pretty cool, but I want to save this, because this is hardwood, and I don't know if the stumps come back after you um, chop them down, but I, see, I saw people putting it over here, and stuff like that, and I think for right now, how about we put the coop... Um, I don't know, let's put it here for now. Why not? We can always move it um, in the future. I don't think there's a fee for moving it in the future. I hope not. But um, let's just put the coop down there. That's like a nice uh, empty spot to put the coop there. And then what else do we need to do? Everything in yeah, okay, build the coop. That's going to take like two or three in-game days. We need to go to the mine. And then we need to build a furnace. Am I, can I make a furnace right now? I don't know. I just... No, I don't. Okay, so we, we do need to go to the mines. We need to get more copper. Um, I don't know why I'm going to here. I, I want to go back to the farm. Because I need to get my sword. And I need to drop off some of this stuff in our box. So we have, like, enough space in our inventory. Because if we find something cool in the mines, I don't want to have my pockets be too full before I go into the mines. Because maybe I'll find a cool gemstone. You never know. We have to make money. We have to make money. If we find cool, real stuff, I'm going to sell it. You know, because now we only have 100 gold coins, and we need to make money. And I already watered this, and so I'll drop off um, this, this. We don't need that. We don't need that. We want that. We may need that. We may need this. I don't think we'll need this. And then we'll take the wooden blade. I'm going to sell that leak. Can I give it to George? Do I want to give it to George? I do want to be friends with George. 
I could give it to George. I mean, hmm. It's just one. I'll give it to George for now. <laughs> so we'll go by George, give him the leak, and then we'll go to the mine. And then um, we have to wait for the coop to finish the building. So I think, you know, we need to work on uh, the mining goal that we have. And, of course, seducing the villagers, of course. And then also... Um, I don't know if you can see from the title of this stream. I'm doing a little bit of a spoiler. Oh, George isn't, isn't over here. I did a little bit of a spoiler in the title because the reason why we had to be friends with Marnie is because Mayor Lewis... Oh, oh, he's over there. I thought George wasn't here. Because Mayor Lewis is going to ask us to do um, a little errand for him that does involve some dirty laundry... And I don't mean it as a metaphor. I mean it, like, intentionally, too. We do have to deal with some of this dirty laundry that just so happens to be at Marnie's ranch. And I think we'll get a letter about that. I think I looked it up. I think it's, like, the third day of the summer. We'll get, like, a letter from him. And he's like, hey, um, can you do me a favor? I'm like, well, I guess. So, going to get some more drama happening in this stream. We're going to be more like the story of the town, Pelican Town. I think that's what this town is called. I thought the town was called Stardew Valley, and it's not. I guess that's just the name of the game. I don't know. But we're going to the mines now. We, need, we do need to get more copper, and we do need to get to level 40 of the mines. And I hope I don't die because I don't have a kitchen yet. I should also, oh, I should have looked that up. When I was at Robin's place, like, look up, um, like, how much do I need to give her for her to, like, renovate my house? Because I think the next house renovation is where you get a kitchen, I think. I'm not so sure. Um, because I know that she can make the house larger. And I don't know if it's, like, the, oh, oh, no. Oh, God, it's an infestation. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. I hope I don't die. I should have brought the energy tonic that Pam gave me in the last stream. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This sucks. Am I going to die? I hope I'm not going to die. Oh, my God. There's more bugs? Oh, my God. This sucks. This sucks. All right. One moment. <laughs> All right. Another one? I thought I was done. Oh, my God. Okay. Because this little green gas type of thing, that, like, warns you that there's, like, a monster infested. There's more bugs. Should I just leave? Uh, I hope I don't die. But if I die, I can see Harvey. Well, he, he is going to take my money. But, oh, no. It, okay, the infestation is gone now. Whenever you get, like, the little green gas type of thing. um Oh, well, I can just go, go down here. Wait, is there any copper? Whenever you get, like, that green mist that comes up, uh, it's, like, warning you that there's, like, a shit ton of monsters coming your way. So, <laughs> so I guess, like, today... Oh, there's cop over there. So, I guess today, I, I guess I have bad luck or something. But, um, well, I can steal that. Um, another bug? Are you kidding me? I hate these bugs. I think I killed the slime. I just need to get that piece of copper. Another one? Oh, my God. Uh. Come on. Come on. Come on, I'm just going to button mash. That's my method. Whenever I have to do, like, anything, like, combat or strategy, I just press a bunch of buttons and, like, hope for the best. I at least want to get some copper. Oh, I'm not going to go all the way over there. There could be, like, another bug. I am going to steal that torch, though. I don't want to make my own. I think I have enough materials at my farm to make my own torches, but why not just take a free one if it's already there? Okay, I need to fight this thing. Because I don't think we'll get to level 40 right now, uh, because it's like 6 p.m. in the game, and your player passes out, I think, at 2 a.m. I don't think we'll get to level 40, but I would like to get to 15, because there's like an elevator every every five levels, and the, oh my god, a blue one, oh wow. And so like that like tracks your progress, you don't like keep starting over from like level one and working your way down every time you go to the mines because that would take forever <laughs> or at least like that's how it is for this mine i know like there's other mines in the game in like different locations where like that's not the case they don't have elevators which sucks but oh well oh, oh wait yeah there's copper right there okay so i just need to go to like two more levels oh there's a lot of copper is it turning purple is there like more monsters or is that just a shadow okay cool so we'll try to finish up some of the goals that we have right now, which is like a lot of like going in the mines, raising um, 
animals. I almost said children. <laughs> but you think, ooh, there's a lot of crap over here. So we're trying to do that as well as seducing people because we need to we need to work on Elliot. Um, oh my god, I'm almost exhausted. Are you kidding me? Can I eat something? I wonder if I can eat that. I don't think I can eat that. Oh, I can eat. I'll, I'll eat that. Yeah, I'll eat that. I don't think it's gonna do much. Yeah, no. But I at least want to get like um a few more copper. Cause if I pass out, I won't get taken to Harvey's. Oh, uh, yep, yeah, yeah. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Okay, I guess I have to leave. All right, I'm leaving now. Okay. Well, maybe I'll do that tomorrow, like the next day in game. Cause it should be raining soon. Cause when it rains, that's the best time to go to the mines. Then you know, you don't have to worry about watering your crops or anything. You can just spend the whole day there. You can make like way more progress. I'm gonna get that leak because I want to sell it. And then so Robin will start working on the coop tomorrow. I think it takes her two days. And then oh, I should go. I should go fishing. I need to like work on my fishing skill as well. And I'll also help with Elliot because Elliot likes seafood and like stuff like that. We have been doing so bad with trying to seduce Elliot. It's so hard to get gifts for him. But he has such expensive taste. And, I mean, he likes beer, but, like, I can't afford beer right now. I think beer is, like, $400 in the game. And I, I'm, not, I'm not made of money, Ellie. Oh, can I make the furnace now? Wait, let me, let me double check. Can I? I think I can. Oh, okay. Cool. So we got that done. We'll still need to go to the mine. We have to, like, reach level 40 for the Adventures Guild. I think that's what it's for. So we'll get that cool, cool, cool. Oh, then we can um make copper bars and start, you know, um, what's the word? Upgrading. Upgrading our um stuff. Oh, I can't put it there. Are you kidding me? Uh I don't know, I'll put it right there for now. Okay, cool. Let's smelt that. How exciting. And then we'll go to bed, because we have no energy. And, oh, it is a Friday night. Should we go at the bar? No, I, I can't afford to get beer. No, I won't go to the bar. I know that Elliot and Leah are probably there. Leah were... Oh, cool. Now I can get back steak. Okay, cool. That will help me in the mines. Because then I can, like, eat it and get my energy back. Because we have two hearts with Leah. We're doing pretty good with Leah. We already got one of her cutscenes. I would like to get to at least two, starts, two hearts with Elliot in this stream. And get a cutscene with him, at least. I wasn't expecting to get a cutscene with Leah. Oh, it's gonna be clear and sunny. This sucks. Okay, ooh, we got a copper bar. Oh, my green beans and my rice. I can harvest it. Okay, I have to put this away. Cause we need like at least five pieces of ore and like one piece of coal to make like a bar. And we don't have uh, enough copper to make more bars. I think we need, oh, I need to get out my, my stuff. Um, so this is like the last day of the season. I may just just water the cabbages, but I'm not gonna water the green beans or the rice because we're not gonna get anything more. So we could just spend all day in the mines now. So you know, it's like the end of the season. There's not much else that we can do in terms of harvesting crops. So at least we got some more stuff. Oh, the copper bar already done. Okay, cool. All right, well, we'll take that and then we'll go to the mine. Oh, wait, I need to fill up my dog's watering bowl. Gumby, we can't forget about Gumby. That's our dog. <laughs> that's that's them over there. Gumby's over there. They're running around. And then, okay, so we put this away, put that away, put that away, and, and then we're going to organize it. Yes. And then, oh, that's right. I'm saving this. Why do I have this? No, I should just sell that. Why do I need that? Keeping that, I need to save that because we need that. We need four more golden parsnips for the community. Um, what do they even call it? The community center goals or something? I don't even know. But um, we need to focus on that. I completely forgot about that in last in the last stream, and I totally messed up <laughs> the spring bundle stuff. So um, we have to wait till next spring to finish the spring crop thing. Oh, I'm trying to go up there. Why doesn't it let me go up there? Oh, okay. The, oh, I need 10. Okay, well, I'll just take this with me. So I could like probably make more when I'm in the mines. I didn't check my luck. I know I can check that on the TV. I didn't check that, but we're going to the mines anyway, whether we're lucky or not. It doesn't matter. 
And then we could do some foraging. I do want to go fishing, but I'll probably go fishing um on the last day of spring. Because there's like 28 days in each season, I think. So we'll go, we'll focus on the mines today. Try to leave <gasps> Linus. I want to talk to Linus one more. I'm going to talk to him. Hello, Linus. You're happy by yourself. I know that, Linus, but I want to be friends with you. You don't need new friends. Yes, you do, Linus. Don't play so hard to get. We'll be friends. He's trying to play hard to get right now. Like, he doesn't trust me, and I totally understand that. But I will be friends with him. You know, I will respect his boundaries for now. You know, he just wants, like, you know, very, you know, small talk right now. But we will be friends if I find more gifts for him. And then we can be friends. I need to look up what type of gifts he like. I thought I... I thought he just liked everything, but apparently he doesn't. I'm gonna steal more torches. Thank you. Oh my god, a bug. Oh my god, I hate this. Uh, oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Come over here. Because I don't know if there really is a strategy for... Oh, oh, oh my god, there's something over there. I don't really know if the... Oh, okay, cool. Oh, but there's... there's... Copper over there, but there's a monster. Oh, I think it's stuck over there. Up, oh, nope, it's hitting me. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave. Okay, cool. Oh my god, there's another one. Just get it in between the back. I don't know if there's like really a strategy for fighting monsters in the game, but if you just like have to hit your button randomly, I don't know. That's what I do. Uh, but I'm not like good at like strategy games, anyways. I just kind of like press the the attack button over and over again and hope for the best. Got more bugs. I hope I don't die. Okay, cool. Well, I mean, if I do die, that's okay. Could we get to see Harvey? He will take all of our money. I think the fee, the doctor's fee, is like two grand at least, and we don't have that. So he'll just take all of our money. But that's okay, because I like Harvey. I think he's a cool guy. You know, I'm okay if he wants to take all my money. It's fine. He's a doctor. I totally understand. You know, it's totally fine. And I like Harvey. So I'll, I'll allow it. But we're not going to talk to Harvey. We're not going to talk to him. We're only talking to Elliot and Leah right now. We need to get them up to 8 or 10 hearts. And then we can move on to the next pair of Bachelor and Bachelorettes. And I think I'm going to go on to Alex and Haley next. Because I know that the game kind of pairs up Bachelor... That thing is really killing me. Oh my god. I know that the game kind of pairs up Bachelor and Bachelorettes. But they don't have them like date. If your farmer gets married to a like a person, like a different person, I know that there's mods for that where like it allows them to like have like story progression. But I'm playing on um the Switch, so I'm not able to like download mods for my Stardew Valley game because I'll need to be on the computer for that, and I'm not gonna pay money for a computer version of Stardew Valley if I have it on the Switch. Oh my God, where did the thing go? Oh, it's right there. Okay, cool. But wait, is it copper? I mean, I have 15 right now, but oh, there's some of, oh, but there's a lot of monsters. I'll just go down the, I'll just go down the ladder then. Oh yeah, can we need to get to the level 15? Go to little elevator right there. Ooh. Oh my god, so cool. Is there any copper? There's no copper over there. Okay. Okay, we'd like to like get a lot of copper so I can start like upgrading, not upgrading. Well, no, yeah, upgrading. That's the word, right? Upgrading? Making my weapons better. Yeah, upgrading my weapons. Because my weapons suck right now. <laughs> I haven't upgraded them at all. So they're like pretty weak. And my energy bar is really low. But I think I need to like up my combat skill. To like raise my energy bar. I think I think that's what your combat skill does. Alright let's see where's that ladder. So I would like to upgrade. Maybe like a tool. That, oh there's a copper ore there. Oh, I didn't know they were like hidden in regular rocks. That's cool. I would like to upgrade like one weapon in this stream. Oh, I can. Oh my god. Oh my god, a bug. What is that? Is it like a moth or something? I have no idea what that is. Oh, I hope I don't die. Oh my god, there's two of them. Oh, I better not die. Oh, may, am I gonna die? Oh, I have no idea. Um, I'm just gonna keep swinging my sword there. Okay, there we go. Oh, I can make bug meat now. Okay, cool. Let me make bug meat. Cool. Now, what does that do? Does it like. Does it give me like a lot of stuff? Oh, I guess it kind of does. Okay, it's not that bad. Alright. I'll open this. Boop, boop, boop. Can I get a lot of rocks? Then, oh, okay, there's another one right there. 
Okay, I'm at level 17. I, I could make it to 20. I mean, we have like half of our energy meter left. Our health meter is pretty good. We could make it to level 20. And then I'll probably get out and maybe like start fishing and like talking to villagers. We have to seduce Sebastian. No, not Sebastian. No, they're not seducing Sebastian. I like Sebastian as well, too. But we are focusing on Elliot and Leah, the, the artsy people in the game. All right. So, okay, where's the ladder? Oh, my gosh. Oh, there's a bunch of bugs over there. I know that I can attack them when they're sitting, but... um, Oh, there's a bug over there. But that bug's harmless. They don't, like, really go up to you. Oh my god, there's so many of them! Okay, attack them, attack them, attack them, attack them. Oh my god, there's way too many. I think I'm gonna die. I'm probably gonna die. Oh my god, am I gonna die? Oh my god, I think I'm gonna die. Alright, back up a little bit, back up a little bit. Go over here, go over here, get a running start. Okay, cool. Um, I know that there's more coming after me. Yep, okay, there they are. Oh my god. My, my meter's so low. And there was like an amethyst rock over there. I want to get that. Because I can give it to the wizard. I want to be friends with the wizard too. Okay, cool. Bug meat. I need five more. Are they going to see me? Oh, that one didn't see me. Okay, kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, good. Okay. I'm going to get that. I want to get some amethyst. I want to make it to... Oh my god, there's another bug. Where did that bug come from? Okay, 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 oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Is there a bug in my room? Oh my god. Probably, probably from my plants. Okay. Get that, get that. I don't know where the- am I gonna- I think I'm gonna pass out. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to level 20. I just need like- an, uh, I, I'm like one bug meat short of like being able to make bug steak to like get my energy back up. There's a bug over there. I go, oh my god. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Okay. Fight this thing. Oh my god, there's so many monsters. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, whatever. I'll just go down here. Oh my god. <laughs> I want to make it to level 20. I don't want to, like, back out now. Oh my, but my energy bar is so low. I probably should just back out now. I don't know. Let, let me get some rocks. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go to my phone. I'll smelt more copper bows because I can make um like three more. Oh, and then I just need five copper bows to upgrade um one of my tools. I wonder which one I should upgrade first. I don't know if I should upgrade hmm maybe like one of the maybe my axe either my axe or my pickaxe because that will help me clear out my farm a little bit so i can make more room to like decorate stuff you know i'll probably do that okay so we need to i have more torches oh my god i, I need to decorate my farm my farm is like very bland right now um okay let's put that in there i don't know should i yeah i'll keep this um I'll keep that, because I don't know if Gil from the Adventures Guild would want that. Let's see. So I need this. I need that. I can smelt some copper bars. Boop. Okay, cool. And then I'll just switch out my weapons right now. Because I probably won't go back into the mine until this summer. So then I need to, I need to organize all this. Oh my god. I hate it when it's like unorganized. Okay, uh, that goes there, this goes here, that goes there, and then this goes there. Okay, cool. Alright, so I'll probably see what, where everyone's at. I should probably talk to some of the villagers, especially Leah and Elliot. And then, ooh, and then go foraging. Because I do need more money. <laughs> I do need more money. I th oh, I'll definitely need more money in order to upgrade my weapons. I don't know if I need, like, 500 for the first upgrade? I think so. I don't know. Maybe it's like a hundred. I have no idea. Maybe I should go to the saloon. You know, see who's there. Ooh, I should check the trash cans. Oh, but Willie's there. I don't want Willie to judge me. I want to be his friend, too. I'll wait for him to go in. Alright, cool. Oh, okay, there was nothing there. Oh, well. Alright, okay, Leah's here. I'll talk to Leah. I'll talk to everyone. I'll just... Oop, no, I, I sat down. 
All right, there's Leah. I think, okay, that's all she had to say. Pam, she's not responding. Okay. Um, I always see Clint here, but he won't talk to anyone. He just glances over his shoulder every now and then. Yeah, Clint's a little weird. I don't really like Clint that much. That much. Wait, but Clint's not even here. What are you talking about, Marnie? I don't know. I don't really like him that much because his storyline revolves around Emily. But, like, Emily's a bachelorette, which means that the player can, like, date her and marry her if they want to. But Clint can't do that. So, like, his storyline is just... Oh, there's Clint. His storyline is just doomed for him to be disappointed and depressed for the rest of his life. Which is kind of a little bit shitty for him. And also, he's he's always grumpy. Sometimes I wonder how I ended up in this town. I don't know. Oh, my God. See, I, I want to like Clint. But his attitude is just, like, I get tired of feeling bad for him, you know? I do like Penny, although her storyline does well on her mom a lot. But, I mean, I did get to see some of her storyline in my main save. I just felt like it was, like, very dependent on her mom. Which is, like, all right. But it gets, like, a little bit repetitive. Let's see. Wait, there's nothing here. I don't know why I'm looking over here. There's nothing to forge over here. I need to go on that side of the beach. I probably sell some stuff. And then tomorrow will be the last day of spring. And then we'll be into the summer. Be a whole new season, a whole new crop. Oh, I need to get money for crops. Oh, my God. That's, like, the whole point of the game. Oh, my God. I have no money for my crops. Um, I'm probably going to need to start, like, maybe selling some of my materials. I don't know. I don't know how much money I'll get for it, though. No, let me try to do some foraging. There could be, like, more stuff in the, the forest by Marnie's land. And then I sell that. We need to make more money. That that coop took all of my money, but it's going to be worth it because then we'll get to have chickens. We know I have to pay for the chicken. And I think the chickens are too grand. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to go through the trash. Maybe there's something in here. See, nothing. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to go in the forest. Look in the oh, oh, we have a cutscene machine. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, that's right. We're two hosts with him. <gasps> Up late, huh? Yeah, I have a hard time sleeping, Shane. Mm hmm. Here, have a cold one. I don't like beer, though. I don't like beer. I'm more of a mixed drink person or wine. You know, I like something to be like fruity or tough. Oh, do I need to drink it myself? But life. Oh, is that the brand of the beer, like Bud Light? Or are you just complaining about life? You ever feel like no matter what you do, you're going to fail? I mean, like you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep you can't see the light of the day. Shane, I was on my way home. I'm not ready to be philosophical with you. I just feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. Well, not with that attitude, Shane. I do know that like his storyline does revolve around his alcoholism and like he struggles with depression. So, fast sneaker. I am. Um, I, I, I do check my drinks a lot. Woman after my own heart. I don't want to date you, though. I just want to be friends with you. I mean, I will date him, you know, just for, like, the story, for the plot. But just don't make it a habit. You still got a future ahead of you. Cool. I know that the storyline kind of revolves around the farmer helping out Shane with, like, his issues. Well, my liver, my, what? My liver's begging me to stop at a call tonight. So you around you to, oh, he said my name now. He didn't call me a farmer. Oh, my God. Thank you, Shane, for, you know, treating me with respect. Like, you know, I mean, it wasn't over the top. It was just, like, decent respect. But thank you. He's been so mean to me lately that him calling my name, I'm like, oh, my God. Does he like me? He probably doesn't. But that's fine. I just want to be his friend anyways. I just want to. Oh, am I really drunk from the beer? I'm tipsy. Oh, my God. From one beer? Oh, my God, Dita, you're not that much of a lightweight. I mean, like, you kind of are, but not that much. Oh, my God. I can't even see. Oh, well, I, I, I should just go back to my phone. I forgot. I don't have the glow ring. We can, we, we can get the glow ring from the mine when you fight monsters, I think. And, like, that would, like, help light up. At least where, like, your farmer's walking. It gets really dark in the game. I can't see it. I can't see anything. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So I saw my dandelion. I have a dandelion and a daffodil. And then I put this. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I, I, I want to smelt more copper. Okay, yeah, cool. There's copper over there. Smelt that. 
Um, oops. Okay. Go over there. Boop, boop, boop. Cool, cool, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. Put that in there. Um, oh yeah, organize it. I like it. Oh, I have so many joys. I should probably take that in tomorrow. Yeah, I should probably take that in. I'll have enough money to get them processed, so that'll be fine. And I'll help the museum. And I will get rewards from if, well, if I can donate anything to the museum. Cool. Okay, is there anything? Excuse me. Oh, that's right. It's gonna be clear and sunny. Oh, great. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I fall asleep now. Oh wait, did I did I pet my dog? I don't know if I pet my dog. <gasps> Ooh, level three for me. I can get a bee house. <gasps> oh my gosh, we can make honey. Ooh, a staircase. That's good for the mines. But I want to save that for the hiding mines. Because there is a mine. Like we'll have an opportunity if we complete one of the um the community um house um objective. One of the objectives is for to like get the bus system back up. And then we can travel to the desert. And there's like a really difficult mine there where you need those um mine stairs, like the recipe that we just got. Oh, I, I learned how to make an omelet. Is it gonna rain tomorrow? Please tell me it's gonna rain. It's gonna be a beautiful sunny day. Okay, whatever. Well, fine, that's great. I mean, it's the start of summer. You don't want it to be raining during the start of the summer, but you know, um, I don't want to. I don't want. Well, I mean, I do have to do work because it's the first day of the season. We need to start planning out cops but I just I want to go to the mines I love going to the mines okay I have to wait till like night what can I not pet my dog <gasps> my dog won't let me pet them oh my god okay let's get this ready I don't know I'm, I'm not gonna water the plants because they're just gonna die tomorrow so okay so I wasn't able to get cabbage because cabbage was like the last thing that I needed for the um Oh, oh, my copper bar is already done. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll get that. And then I'll smell the rest of this. Because I needed cabbage for one of the community center. Um, what are they called? One, one of the um, challenges. Or like, I don't know. Challenges, objective. I don't know. But um, I just needed a cabbage left. I had to donate a cabbage to the community center. And I totally forgot that... I was going the community center route, and I had to, like, donate stuff, and I showed my last cabbage, and there's no way that I'm going to be able to hatch a cabbage when I hatch a harvest, a cabbage, on the last day of spring, which is today. So I guess I have to do that next year during the spring in the game. Well, that's fine. Oh, it's not 9 a.m. yet. I can't open the geoids. Okay, well, then I'll go over here. Maybe I'll go through people's trash. Maybe I can find food or something. I do need to talk to Elliot. I don't think I can get into his house. Yeah, no. We don't, we only have one hut with him, so we can't get into his house. Let's see. Um, I'll need to get that. I need to get... Oh, I have a grand! Oh, I didn't know I had a grand. Oh, okay, cool. So, I could... Maybe I could... I don't know. Maybe I could upgrade one of my tools. I don't know. How should, should I get... I probably go back and get the copper bar because I I may have money left over, but I'll need to um process the geoids first and then upgrade my tools because I learned the hard way. If you have him upgrade your tools first, he won't like do any work for like the next two days as he's busy upgrading your tool. So if you have geoids, make sure you crack them open first before you have Clint upgrade one of your tools, or else because he he's not gonna be working. But, well, he won't be able to help you to open up the geoids for, like, the next two or three days. But he's too busy upgrading your tools. So, yeah, we need five copper bars. Um, oop, oop, I don't want to sell that. Oh, I have another one over there. Okay, right, cool. I'll take that. I don't really need it. I just need five. I, five, I just need five copper bars. I'm pretty sure. I don't think it's ten. I don't know, but we'll find out. Because his shop is open right now. We'll go over there. And then maybe we'll try to find where Elliot is. I have no idea what his schedule is. I, I could pull it up. I have, like, Chrome open right now. So I could pull up and see what his schedule is instead of me just, like, running around trying to find him. I know that he's in his house a lot of the times. So we need to, like, at least get to, like, two hearts with him. So we can at least go inside of his house. We can go inside of Leah's house now. Okay. Hello, Clint. I want to process my geoids. Boop, 
What's this? Copper. Okay, cool. Oh, I can donate that. Okay, great. I don't know how to pronounce that, though. I right, rocks. I love a good rock. Oh, I can donate that. All right, I'll donate that. Okay, I have two of those. I can sell one. That's cool. More copper. More copper, which is great. I can smelt it. And, oh, 20. Okay, that's cool. I need more coal, though. So I hope I get coal from one of them. No. Okay, well, I have three stuff that I can donate. To be good for the museum. Oh, wait. Oh, that's oh, that's right. I was gonna... Do I have enough money? Can I upgrade my two? I need 2,000? Oh, my God. But I have the five copper bites. Okay, I need to sell more stuff. Maybe I can, like, have them upgrade my tools tomorrow. I don't know if I even make that much money. <laughs> um, let me read this, because I hate it when there's, like, an icon. I just want to get rid of these icons. Like, well, I'm not even going to read them. Okay, I have stuff to donate, Gunther. Oh, I can only donate two things. Oh, okay, fine, whatever. I'll put this here, and I'll put this here. Wow, look at that. I don't get a reward. Okay, fine, whatever. Okay, so I need to sell... Okay, so then I can sell both of those things. So, I don't know, maybe I couldn't get a grand for both of those things. I do want to upgrade my tool. Because these tools suck. <laughs> oh, that's why I was going to... I was going to go through the trash. Oh, I got sushi! Oh, okay, good, Alex. I'll talk to Alex, though. I got bread. Hey... What, you want to talk to me? I'm busy. Whatever, fuck you, man. I don't want to talk to you anyway. I'm just being polite. Jesus. Okay, I'll go through Mayor Lewis's chat. I don't think... Oh, he is getting... Will he be able to see me? I don't think he'll see me. Yeah, see? He didn't even see me. Oh, but cool. I think I already went to the... Did I go, no, I didn't go to the beach. Wait, no, yes, I did. I have no idea if I went to the beach or not. <laughs> I already forgot. <laughs> okay, I'll go here. Oh, cola. I could give that to uh, Sam. Sam likes uh, the Georgia Cola. Haley, I don't know what Haley likes. Because, I mean, I should start getting friendly with Haley and Alex now, the rude guy that, like, I just talked to. Because they're going to be, like, the next two that I'm going to go after. But uh, Haley's just so mean to me. And I have no idea what she likes. Because I never even bothered to talk to her. <laughs> so I have no idea what she actually likes. I should probably look that up. Well, now I know. It doesn't really matter right now. Okay, cool. So, um, I only have three coal. I need to get more coal. Okay, who would want... I think Alex would want... No, Sam would want that. But I, I want to find Elliot. I don't know. Should I look up his schedule right now? Probably look up his schedule right now. Because I don't want to, like, run around and try to find him. Because... <laughs> I know that they say that Elliot is, like, pretty hard to seduce because he's always in his house. But let me see. Let me see if they even have, like, a good schedule up on him. I know that sometimes, um, they don't really have a good schedule up for him. Let's see, what is it? It's Sunday. It's not raining. Oh, Friday and Sunday. Wait, okay. Oh, okay, Friday and Sunday, if the player has less than six type with Leah. Yeah, I do. All right, he's at home. Until 11 a.m. Then he leaves his cap and is stand on the docks next to Willie's place. And at 5, he goes to the saloon. Okay, cool. So he's at the docks right now. Oh, does he like sushi? I could give him sushi. Does he like it? Oh, I'm running into this place. All right, it's not in his love. Oh, my God, Harvey. I don't, oh, no, I can't talk to Harvey. I do want to talk to Harvey, though. I'm going to talk to Harvey. It's fine. I'm not going to give him a gift. I'm just going to talk to him. Hmm, I'm struggling to, make, struggling to make ends meet. I don't have enough patience. I guess I should try getting patient from the meantime. No, Heavy, like I said before, just wait till it's the fall. I always get sick in the fall. Don't worry. You'll be able to get money from me, Heavy. You just have to wait for, like, the flu season to come up. But like, it doesn't really say if he likes sushi. But a lot of his loves and likes revolve around, like, seafood. Or just, like, fish in general. So I'm gonna give him sushi. Just to see if he likes it. And if not, well, then I wasted my time. Here, Elliot, have it. This is for me. My voice. Oh, he does like it. Hello, I hope your new farming life is panning out as you hope. I mean, I guess. Okay, that's it. Do we have two hearts with him? No, we don't. Okay, whatever. It's fine. But he likes it, though. Was that one of his loves? I don't think it was. I just think he liked it. Yeah, he just liked it. Okay, cool. Well, that's great. Okay, we're making progress with him. 
So I so I guess it's safe to say if like if there's like a food dish that has seafood in it that he would most likely enjoy it. So that's what I'm getting from like his Wikipedia page. Like he just likes anything to do with like seafood or just fish in general. Um, he likes pomegranate, lobster, duck feather for some reason. Oh, maybe because he's a writer and it's like a quill. You know, like they used to have feathers and dip it in ink. And, oh, that's probably why he likes duck feathers. Because maybe he likes making his own quills or something. Like quill pen. Is it called a quill pen? I think so. That makes sense. Because at first when I saw it, I'm like, what the fuck? Why does he want a duck feather? But now it makes sense. He's an author. And he does have like that very like antique, old looking fashion sense. I Evelyn is so short. I mean, I'm like 5'3". She has to be like, oh my god, maybe 4'5". Oh my god. I don't even know. But I do like Evelyn. I want to be friends with her. I know that she likes flowers. Um, So if we find any flowers, we should give it to Evelyn. I do want to be friends with George. Okay, I want to get to know his storyline. Because he is just like a grumpy old man. I'll talk to Haley right now. My sister's so weird. That's why I wonder if we're actually related. I mean, whatever, Haley. Um, can I do want to be friends with George? Because he's like a cranky old man. And that's kind of like the re- the reoccurring theme with Stardew Valley. Everyone seemed like really mean to you at first. And then like they actually get nice to you. Like Shane, I think when you get to like around like four hearts with him or maybe even five hearts with him, he starts to like, you know, stop being such an asshole to you. And then like same thing with Alex. But like, I don't know. I never really got past four hearts with Alex. I didn't care for him. But it's like a real kind of thing. People are like really mean to you. They'll like be nice to you once you get like higher hearts with them. He's so much way back. Oh, that's why in the winter I can't plan anything. That's why we need the greenhouse. Oh my God, wait. I should probably go to the community center and see like what requirements I need to do for the greenhouse. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let me go over here. And I do want to sell that shell. Oops, I got stuck in a bush. Okay. Because the fish tank, that's not for the greenhouse. That's for um getting rid of the glittering border. Which, um, I don't know if it's like, it won't open up a new point of the town. I just think it gives you, like, another skill to work on. This is the greenhouse. Ah, oh, the pantry. I already ruined the spring crops bundle. See, I was supposed to donate a cauliflower, and I gave Jody my last cauliflower. No, I gave her, I had two cauliflowers. I gave her one, then I sold one, and I wasn't able to get it back out of the box because I sold a cauliflower first and then a green bean, so all I could get back was a green bean. Yeah, so, okay, so I need to do the crops bundle. In order to go to greenhouse, which I don't think we'll be able to do that before the winter. Because cause then, yeah, we need the coop for this. We need this. We need to get, and then we need to get a barn for, like, the um cows and stuff. The fall cops. I'm going to make a very, very conscious effort to follow the community center quest uh, objectives, whatever they're called. Because we need to get a move on. It took me so long in my main save to finish the community center. I think it took me, like, uh four months maybe five months to finish it and I can't do that this time I need to focus on it I need to make this a priority and then what's the addition oh that's right truffle oil cloth goat cheese a lot of this I can do and oh that's right I should I should also get fruit trees fruit trees are really hard to plant like they're, they're very finicky like where you need to place them and how you space them out this one's for the bridge which is over by the that will take us to the quarry which will give us like access to another mine that's for the glittering boulder which just gives you like another skill thing i guess i thought there was something here but i guess not maybe we'll, oh, oh no okay we have to finish some of the stuff over there because then there's something over here that you have to finish and then there's something down there that you need to finish and then there's something here so i think we need to finish something at least one of the groups in here and in the pantry in order to unlock more. Okay. So we need to focus on that. Oh, that means I have to go fishing. Uh, oh, wait, is a lady there in the forest? I'm so bad at fishing in the game that a lot of the fish that I do get for the community center, I just buy it from that lady that comes in the forest. Let's try to find her. Then maybe we'll run into Leah. Because we're too hard with her. The next, oh, there's Marnie. Hello, Marnie. 
good to see you. Now, I'm not mad that she's not at her ranch this time, because normally she leaves around 5.30 or 6 anyways. I get mad when she leaves right at 9 o'clock, because I'll be waiting outside her ranch to buy hay from her or to buy animals from her, and then she'll just walk right past me, and then I... There's nothing else I could do. She's just gone for the whole day. Of course, she was there. Let's see. Cave carrot. No. Oh, sprinkler. No, I don't know if I want to get sprinkler right now. Midnight carp. Oh, do I need that? Oh, I don't know if I need that. Do I need that? Well, I can check in here. Am I going to need that for one of the for one of the fish things? All right. No, go up here. Oh, my God. Okay, cool. Classroom? No. Fish tank? Yes. River? No. Specialty? No. Wait, what was it? Crab pot? No. Night? No. Lake? No. Ocean? No. So I'm not gonna buy that. Oh, wait. Was it a puffer fish? I should have looked. Okay, puffer fish. Puffer fish. Puffer fish. Oh my god, I have to go back up there again. No. Yes. I need a puffer fish. Right, I'm gonna buy a puffer, puffer, puffer fish. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of money. Alrighty then, well, just one puffer fish for me. I'm never gonna get two grand now. I, I have such a problem with spending money. <laughs> I'm never gonna get two grand to upgrade my tool. Oh my god, they suck. Oh jeez, I have so much to like, get rid of over here. Oh my god. Alright, let's see. Um, I'm gonna put my... I'm gonna put this away. Just so I, tell, so I don't accidentally sell it. I'm going to put this in here. Because I want to give that to people later. So I'm going to sell this and this. But not the puffer fish. Because we're going to put that in the community center. Because I, I suck at fishing in the game. So probably the fishing tank is going to be the last thing I get completed of the community center. Because of my main save. That was the last thing. That I had left to finish. And I think that was the reason why it took me so long. I mean, it did take me a while to like get the the fruit trees planted correctly, but the fishing challenge was so hard. It's oh my god, it's just so difficult in the game. But okay, at least I have this. And the specialty fish, puffer fish, and then ghost fish, sand fish, wood skip, ocean. Oh, I did have a sardine. I don't know, maybe I can go fishing in the ocean. I mean, the sardine is not that hard. And I don't really know, like, what fish... I'm, I'm like, slumping. I'm, like, getting, like, really low in my season. <laughs> like, I don't know which fish is, like, for what season. Um, because there's really not, like, a... They don't really have, like, a book for that in here. I know on Animal Crossing they do. But I don't... Yeah, they don't really... I have to, like, Google it, I think. But then I will, oh, that's right, Elliot will be there. Let me talk to, can I talk to Elliot still? I'm going to talk to him, just see, you know. I can't, okay, whatever. Well, then maybe I'll talk to Shane, because apparently we're two hearts. Oh my gosh. You again, how many times do I have to tell you to leave me alone? Shane, you were just giving me a heart to heart, and you floated, you floated with me last night. Don't try to play hard to get. I'm glad, I think he's trying to play hard to get, because his aunt's right there. But, I don't know, whatever. I don't know. Shane, Shane can be really rude. Like, I know that he's, like, a big fan favorite in the Stardew Valley community, but I just personally don't see it. You know, I just have eyes for Hyobi. <laughs> and I know people hate Hyobi because of his mustache. And I just don't see it. I love the mustache. I think the mustache really compliments him. Because I saw... Oh, I got cola? Okay, cool. Because I saw, like, um... The early development photos for all the characters in Stardew Valley. It's, like, on the Wikipedia page, too. And I saw where, like, Harvey didn't have a mustache. And I just thought he looked really weird. Like, he, like some people just really need facial hair. And sometimes people just really need a mustache. Even though I know people don't like mustache. But I like mustache because it shows that person is confident and brave. <laughs> And I like Harvey's mustache, you know, like, it, it, it's not like a, it's not like a creepy mustache or anything. And like, you know, he, he takes care of himself. Like his hair is always nicely combed. I'm not going to get this goddamn fish. Oh my God. But it's like, I know that he like takes, like he value, I'm not going to get that fish. Oh my God. Are these fish going to be all hard to get? Like, obviously I know that like he does take care and like does take pride in his appearance, which I like. 
you know, I don't think Harvey uses the all-in-one shampoo, which is great. Because I don't have the energy to teach him why he should not be using it. <laughs> Harvey definitely uses conditioner, for sure. And he probably has, like, the little, like, a uh, mustache gel. So he can style his mustache. Harvey, like, Harvey, he take care. He's the type of guy where he's allowed to have a mustache because he's able to take care of his hair. So, oh, a hal halibut? <gasps> oh, is that? I don't know if that's for one of my things. Oh, it's so finicky to get get over there. I don't see that there. No, not there. Ocean? No. Lake? No. Night? No. No. Okay, well, then I guess I'll just sell that. All right, cool, whatever. All right. Let's go fishing, because then I'll get, I'll get up my fishing skill. Because they do say in the game, the more that you fish, the easier it gets. But I do need to buy, like, some... There's, like, like little attachments that you can get from Willy that will make fishing easier for you. But I think I need to get, like, a better, like, ranked um, fishing pole in order to use those attachments. Because, like, here's, like, bobbers and stuff that will, like, make it, like, less difficult for the fish to get away from you. But I think I need, like, a, a higher level um, fishing pole for that. Come on, I don't want to lose this one. This one is not that difficult. Come on, come on. Ah, ah, ah. Oh my god. No, I need to get this fish. What is it? A herring. Is that in there? I, I should really read the names. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. <laughs> Let's see, I don't see anything there. No. No, not there. No. 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 Okay, whatever. Well, I can always sell these. Well, I should give them to Willie. I don't know if Willie does give us, like, more money if we give him fish instead of just dropping it off in the box by our house. But, and then we get money right away from Willie. So I'll probably wait to give it to him. Oh my god. This is a difficult fish. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, cool. What's it? Oh, not the halibut. I don't know. I'll just go home now. <laughs> it's almost midnight. Because, like, we passed out at, like, 2 a.m., so, and then people could, people will pickpocket you if you pass out. Because if you die, or, like, die, you don't, like, permanently die. I don't know if that's an option in the game. I heard from someone that they did permanently die in Stardew Valley, but I don't know if they had, like, a mod installed for that. Because I never had that happen to me, and I died a lot in the game. <laughs> but, um, I wonder if, they, I think they probably had, like, a, oh, my God, money, get out of my way. I think they did have, like, a mod installed where, like, you could just die permanently. Or they were just, like, making up, like, a story for their game. But I know that, like, when you die in the game, you go, like, to Harvey's office. And that's when, like, your health meter gets down. But, like, for your energy meter, you just, like, fall asleep. Well, like, if you drain your energy meter, you'll fall asleep and someone will pickpocket you. And then if you're still awake by 2 a.m., you'll fall asleep. And then someone will pickpocket you again. They'll, like, either take your money or they'll take something from your inventory, which sucks. But, um, well, that's why we need to go to bed. I can't lose anything in my inventory. I want to make sure I'm not blocking my little, my little, um, oops, wrong way. My little light. I have it set for purple. I had it set for green, for, like, the Stardew Valley game a while. But I didn't really like the green that much. Oh, and my coop! My coop's done! I... Get it for purple, because I do like purple. I'm trying to develop, like, a gamer aesthetic. What's this? Oh, it's just Etsy. Cool, thanks, Etsy. Something's on sale. Something's on sale that I want. Because I am trying to develop, like, a gamer girl aesthetic. And, you know, I, like, I want to have, like, a nice, like, purple gaming setup. But, um... I don't know if, like, anyone else that's, like, trying to develop their dream gaming setup... Um, I think you guys would know that, like, it is very difficult to find anything that's not pink and white or, like, red and black. Because, like, everything, like, all, like, the, ooh, oh, no, I wasn't supposed to do that. Like, everything that's, like, addressed for, like, gamers, like, the cool, like, aesthetically pleasing chairs and, like, keyboards and stuff like that. Like, it's very much either, like, racing aesthetic or, like, pink gamer girl aesthetic. And it's, like, um, you know, I like them. I think they're both, like, very pretty and, like, you know, very cool. But I want to be a purple gamer girl. 
but unfortunately like for a lot of the purple stuff that I want like with my chair it's like purple and pink so I kind of have to like include pink in my setup anyways although like I would just love to have like an all purple all lavender like setup and but it's, it's so difficult to find anything that's not pink and white or black and red and I mean they do have like purple stuff but it's like royal purple and it's like I want lavender like lilac like light purple I want something that looks pretty, and it's just, uh, it's just so difficult. It's so difficult for game girls. <laughs> it really is though. Like trying to create like an aesthetically pleasing setup that doesn't cost an arm and arm or leg. Cause I mean, there was this really cool chair that was like, I hardly know anybody talking to me. Yes, you do know me, Shane. I this guy is so annoying. <laughs> Because there was this one chair that I was looking at that wasn't pink and purple, but it was, like, white and purple with, like, a little bit of pink and, like, a little bit of teal. And it was, like, super expensive. I mean, it was almost, like, like high 300s. And this one was expensive, too, but at least it wasn't, like, almost, like, four $400. And but still, it's, like... Uh, and I could get it custom done, like, this, but, like, I don't know anyone that does custom chairs and stuff like that and even then that'd be way more ex expensive because I was watching this one like you know gaming setup tour and she had like an all purple setup which I thought was like really cool and she had an all purple chair that kind of looked like mine like kind of like the same like design like like framework except it was just all purple and she was like yeah I got a custom made my friend made it to made it for me and I think she said it was like almost a grand and I was like oh my god no <laughs> and like but she had like her like her like social handles and everything up there like they did like custom stitching as well with like custom colors but like a grand for that I, I don't I don't have the money for that <laughs> Like, the keyboard that I had is the one from TikTok. Like, you know, like, the little, like, mechanical, like, antique... Not antique looking. Like, the keyboard, like, little typewriter. Like, this! <laughs> I got that from TikTok. Like, it was, like, purple. It was, like, light purple, and I liked it. And it wasn't, like, super, super expensive. It was, it was like, under... I think it was, like, even, like, under 50. Like, it, it really wasn't that expensive. And it was a full-size keyboard, too. Because I want a full-size keyboard. That's what I'm used to. And, and of course, like, it has pink in it, too, because I just find, why is Mayor Lewis down here? Oh, that's why Willie's open. I can give him my, my, my fish. And, and I like it, and it's, like, really clicky. Like, I do like the clicky keyboard, because I just think the sound is, like, really, like, relaxing and nice. Oh, I can give him shells? Oh, I didn't know that. Should I save a halibut? Would, does Elliot like halibut? <laughs> halibut? I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, all fish except for carp, lobster, octopus, sea cucumber, snail, and squid. Okay, so he would like this. I'll give him one. Oh, wait. Oh, this is the summertime. I'm looking at his um his spring schedule. Let me look at that. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Um, It's a Monday. He's at home until 11.30. Because then he goes to the forest. Okay, so he's probably walking to the forest right now. Why am I talking to you? I don't want to talk to you. Get away from me, Mayor Lewis. I don't want to talk to you. I want no hearts from you. Jesus. I don't like Mayor Lewis. But, and I also got into, like, I'm starting to look into, like, mechanical keyboard. Like, making my own mechanical keyboard. Because I do like this one. It's just, I've been watching a lot of videos. It's, I see a lot of stuff on TikTok, too, of, like, these of, like, people showing off their custom mechanical keyboards and, like, doing, like, the switch tests with, like, the different, like, switches, switch keys. And, like, some are, like, really, really clicky and some are, like, more quiet. And I was, like, oh, my God, wow, that's so cool. And so I started looking into, like, how, like, how can I customize a mechanical keyboard? Because um, maybe I can finally have, like, my all-purple gaming setup that I want. I just, I just have to, like, kind of, like, build the parts myself. Very cool. He likes that fish. Why well, I want to talk to him, though. A gentle sunbeam woke me up this morning. I never felt so refreshed. I get annoyed when the sun gets in my face, though. So. I'm sorry if that wasn't very interesting to you. No, I think it is interesting. It's just I hate it when I'm sleeping and, like, the sun hits my eyes. It ugh, makes me so upset. Okay, now I saw the rest of this stuff. And I thought, like, you know, oh, I can finally have, like, my all-purple keyboard that I wanted. Like, light purple, not, like, dark purple. If I just, like, make my own keyboard. And I looked at the um, prices just for, like, the frame for, like, a full keyboard. And it's, like, 
of like almost like two hundred dollars for one, and I'm just, I'm like, oh my god, no. <laughs> Maybe I just have to stick with my little TikTok keyboard for now. Like it's pretty, I like it, you know. And it comes with a mouse. That's another thing. I may have to buy my own mouse if I want to make my own keyboard. And it's just like you know, it's pretty. I like it, and it's just you know, I was just love. I would just love to have my own like pur all purple lavender keyboard. And also like with my headset, it's been like turning off, like on and off quite a bit whenever I stream. And I thought like it was probably like maybe like connection issues for me, but I look it up and apparently it's just an issue with Logitech headsets in general. Like there's like a lot of people that have the same problem with like different types of headset than me. Um, I do know that, like, there's, like, workarounds for it and, like, solutions to fix it. Why did I do that? I want that tree to regrow. And, oh, I need to buy, I need to buy crops. Oh, my God, I need to buy crops. Duh, it's summertime. I need to make money with crops. And I know there's, there's like, a solution to make it stop doing that. And, and I do like my headset. It's purple, by the way. <laughs> it's, like, a light purple, of course. I literally Googled light purple, um headset and like this showed up and it was a like, best buy and i was like cool great i'm gonna get that how many melons do i want mm, i get 10. oh i should get some blueberry seeds because that oh i don't have enough money okay we'll just get five then and some peppers um oh my god i don't have like any money now i do need wheat seeds maybe i'll get 30 wheat seeds perhaps do I have enough money for 30 wheat seeds? I think I do. Just barely, I think. Yep, now I only have $19. Okay, well, we'll, we'll set this up when we get back to the front. <laughs> because, you know, when I, when I was first, like, like getting my gaming set up, like, set up. Because before I just had, like, you know, like a one monitor and just, like, a computer set up before. And then when I started getting into, like, looking into, like, streaming... And just, like, more, like, gaming stuff on my PC. I started, like, expanding my setup a little bit more. And then I was looking to get, like, a headset. Especially with a microphone. So I don't have to, like, buy a separate microphone. Although I know that the quality is better if you buy a separate microphone. And I am kind of looking into that. Just, like, not right now. Cause I do like my head my headset. It's just there's a problem, like, where it, like, disconnects. But at least I know that it's not just a me problem. Like, people are having that issue with like different Logitech head headsets. So it's more like a Logitech issue and not so much like I'm doing something wrong. But I do, because when I was first looking it up, I was looking at, the, at those cat ear headsets. I see a lot of, like a lot of girls like I watch, like on YouTube and on Twitch, they do have like little cat headphones. And I'm not gonna lie, they are really cute. You know, I thought they were like adorable. And you know, and they come in like a lot of nice colors. It was a purple one, like a light purple one. And when I showed, when I showed it to my brother, he was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. I, I was looking into it. It is, like, a little bit expensive. But I do want to get more blueberries, so I'll leave that open. So I kind of want to pair it together. But, um... But I do like these headphones. It's just, um... Because I know they do have, like, a purple one of the cat ears. But, like, I don't think I'll get, like, a new headset. I'd rather... I think I should just invest in, like, maybe, like, a new microphone. And, but, like, not right now. Okay, I think, like, what I have so far is good enough. It's, why am I rewatering that so much? It's just, I've been, like, really focusing on keyboards. <laughs> I think that's, like, my new obsession right now. Because I do kind of, like, hyper-fixate. Oh, I'm out of water. I do kind of, like, hyper-fixate on stuff, like, from time to time. Like, almost, like, every month I have, like, this new obsession. <laughs> and, like, right now it's um, mechanical keyboards and looking into making my own. Um, I obviously don't have the money to do that right now. Because... Of course, um, the ones that I want are very expensive, and also, uh, I can't, I can't find a lot of nice light purple ones. I did find this cool, like, zodiac theme, like, astrology theme keyboard, and, and it's, like, purple with, like, like, purple, white, and, like, like, yellow accents, and I think that's really cool, but it's very expensive, especially if you want, like, a full set of the keycaps, and then with the keycaps, I have to get the switches, and I was looking at the banana split switches, because it's, like, pink and purple, and although, like, the color doesn't matter, because, like, the keycaps are going to be hiding it anyways, I should just still like the, you know, the nice ambiance <laughs> to, like, have, like, purple switches, although it really doesn't matter, but those are sold out, and I could pre-order them, 
like get them shipped on like August of 2021, like next month. But it's like, why would I pre-order them if I don't even have a keyboard, like an actual keyboard keyboard for <laughs> for the switches? And it's just it's just so complicated. And then like the the keyboard, like the full size keyboards that I want, they're so expensive. It's just it's it's really rough. It's rough out there. <laughs> But I have been looking at videos because I kind of do want to make my own mechanical keyboard. I like the one that I have now. I did find it from, like, TikTok, and it is, like, really nice. And I would, like, recommend it to people because it's, like, it's wireless, too. So you don't have to worry about, like, wires on your, um, on your setup because, like, my desk is, like, already kind of a little bit cramped because I have three monitors. <laughs> and, like, I do have, like, a bunch of wires, so I don't want to like, add more wires. But, um... So I do like, like the idea of having like a like a wireless. Uh, why did I do that? Like a wireless keyboard. Although of course those are more expensive. So I just stick with my TikTok keyboard now. It's cute and it is clicky. And I do like the little antique style. Cause there was like a more um, there was like this like, what is it like steel? I I don't know. It was like it was like a more sturdy, um, mechanical mechanical. M mechanic oh my god mechanical right mechanical i have no idea <laughs> um and it it was like that typewriter setup but like they only have pink white black and um blue they don't have a light purple or like any purple option so it's kind of sad because i don't want to have to buy pink unless it's like i'm really desperate for that specific item I'm not super desperate to find a new keyboard anyways, so I like the one that I have now. It's just one day, hopefully, <laughs> I can have my dream all purple set up. But I think it's not going to happen anytime soon because it's very expensive. <laughs> so instead, I will have purple lights like right over here. Like right here, and then my purple light over here, so it makes my face look purple. <laughs> And then, and then of course, like, my purple theme that I have in my stream. It's, like, pink and purple. But I like it because, like, Halloween expired. And I love Halloween. My favorite holiday. Surprise, surprise. And I was actually a little bit sad today. Well, not, like, sad, sad. I was just, like, being, like, mopey. Because it was, like, really, like, cloudy and kind of dreary out today. This whole entire day. And I was, like, ugh. I wish it was the fall. <laughs> Like, I do like the summertime, mainly because, like, I'm free from school, and I have, like, a lot more free time, but, like, my favorite season is the fall, and, of course, like, Halloween time. I love, like, tacky Halloween decoration, and I mean, like, old tacky, like, really old, like, you know, Halloween decoration, not, like, gory tacky and, like, horror ta oh this hat i didn't get i didn't get the 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 letter from him <gasps> there's a mouse that takes his house and he sells hats normally you get like a letter in the mail maybe i did get a letter and i just like didn't pay attention to it oh cool we can buy hats from him now <gasps> how fun <laughs> But, yeah, but I love, like, really old, tacky Halloween decorations. I just, I find it comforting for some reason. Because <laughs> I do like the spooky and, like, more modern Halloween decorations. But it's, it goes into more of, like, fear factor, which is, like, cute. Well, not cute. I mean, like, it's cool and all. But then there's time where it gets, like, a little overdone. Because I have a neighbor, like, a house away from me. Who, like, they obviously love decorating for holidays because they fill up the whole entire yard in their house with decorations and but for Halloween I hate the decorations because they go for the creepy factor while my parents they have like the old little scarecrow from the 90s maybe even 80s and like the plastic ones where you just like shove hair in it they have like the old tacky decorations while my neighbor over there is like trying to like s scar everyone on the block oh he doesn't want to talk to me i think i already talked to him because they have life-size mannequins of like horror movie characters i was gonna say serial killers but i didn't mean like real serial killers like like hollow like you know like michael myers and like jason Voorhees and freddy krueger like like those like serial killers are they really well like Michael Myers and Freddy, no, Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees are, like, serial killers, and, like, Freddy Krueger is just a monster, but they have life-size mannequins of them, and they have it out 
from September until Thanksgiving. They still have it out, um, even past Halloween. And I hate them so much, because a lot of times, especially, um, in the last few years, like, I would work really late, and I would have to get home, like, at, like, midnight, and I have to pass by their house to get to my house, and it's cre- and I also park outside, too, so I have to, like, you know, park my car outside, and then go up to my garage door to open it, and then lock it back up, and those mannequins are just, like, standing over there looking at me, and I'm like, I swear to God, one day, they're gonna start moving, <laughs> and I'm, and I'm gonna be so freaked out, because they are life-size, they have a Jason, oh, I didn't even read what they said, they have a Michael Myers and a Jason Voorhees, that was the first shoot that they had, and, like, every single year, oh, it's gonna be sunny, every single year, they add a new mannequin to the collection, so they have Jason Voorhees, Michael Myers, they have Freddy Krueger, they have Chucky, um, who's, like, well, he's not, he's not, like, doll size. They actually made him taller. He's, like, uh, like, four feet tall, um, the one that they have. And then they have, like, so many others. I think they have, I don't, I don't know his name, but he's, like, from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Is he Leatherface or something? I don't know. But they have him with his little chainsaw standing out there, and it's just, like, really creepy, and those are the Halloween decorations, oh good, it's raining tomorrow, those are the Halloween decorations that I do not enjoy, <laughs> when they get a little too realistic, and really big on this, this scary factor, I'm like, this is not the spirit of Halloween that I enjoy, <laughs> oh yeah, you saw the house, yeah, I already saw you, I already saw the hat mouse, cool, cool, I don't have enough money for you, I mean, I'm trying to save up, oh, Dear Deidre, how's the country like going for you? It's been lonely here without you, but I'm proud of what you're doing. Love, Dad. P.S. An envelope with some money Grandpa left for you. Oh, cool, Grandpa. Thank you, because I had no money. <laughs> and, like, those Halloween decorations, I don't really enjoy, because um, I do get... I am a very paranoid person, and it's just... Whenever, like, the decorations get too realistic, I start developing trust issues, because, like, I have gone took a treating before when I was younger where they had a realistic de decoration in their yard and it was actually a person and they chased us and I was so terrified I almost fought him <laughs> and because like my friends were running away and I was like gonna swing him with my pillowcase because I used like a pillowcase to get candy at the time and it scared me because so like I don't trust any mannequins even at stores but like, I definitely don't trust mannequins during Halloween because I don't know if it's gonna be a person or not, and I know, like, adults find it funny to scare kids, because I was, like, I think I was, like, maybe in fifth grade or sixth grade, so I was still, like, a kid, and I know, like, adults find it funny to scare kids like that, but, like, it's not funny for the kids, because then they can, like, develop, like, lifelong fears <laughs> because of that, and I did, like, I do not trust mannequins, I get scared around mannequins, or, like, too realistic cardboard cutouts because I don't believe that it's really um a inanimate object I believe that it's a person <laughs> so like I love Halloween but I do not like the fact that like my neighbors bring out their shitty little decorations <laughs> I want the tacky old decorations like those are comforting and like even like the like um like, some of the animatronics are okay if, like, you know, they don't look realistic. But when they look a little too realistic, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> because I do remember one Halloween where, um, I, like, my friends and I, we were going across town. Like, normally we're supposed to stay in our neighborhood. And, but, like, for this Halloween, we decided to go, like, across, halfway across town to, get, like, find better candy. And there was one house that we went to where they were having like a little horror, um, like, like a haunted house type of setup. You have to go through the haunted house to get the candy. And the people that were acting for the haunted house, I think they got a little too involved with the role. Cause there was a guy, oh, my hair wasn't so happy with the ladies. I swear I'll shave it all off in a second. I mean, your hair looks fine. Life can be tough. All right, whatever, Alex. <laughs> I think his hair's fine. It's better than Sam's. But, um, and so like with that house, they had, like, a little honey house. You had to go through the haunted house in order to get candy. And, um, it was, like, going up. The theme was, like, this mad doctor. Not, like, a scientist. Like, a doctor. And he was, like, performing surgery 
on this like fake mannequin but like you know it had like like the severed leg and like stuff like that you know and like like the kind of like cheesy gory type of like um legs arms and like fake blood and stuff like that but the thing was the guy had a little saw like a like a regular hand saw in his hand pretending to like chop up the mannequin and he was chasing the kids with it down the block and oh oh Willie oh hello Willie for a moment I'll get back to my story in a little bit <laughs> okay I that's good stuff there the fish go crazy for it just uh make sure to wash your hands after yeah I know the juices are probably like really gross the the aroma has been known to linger up to seven weeks oh ew <laughs> Ew, yeah, get away from that. So you've been catching a lot of fish? No, I've been buying them. Oh, shoot, I didn't know how to respond to him. I, I lied to him, I said yes. <laughs> a lady after me on heart. Is everyone in love with me in this game? I can't date Willie, but if I could, I would. <laughs> just so I can, like, you know, get out. For the storyline, for the storyline. I want to date everyone just to get the storyline. Oh, me old pappy, you say at least. Oh, I was not paying attention to what you said, Willie. Keep going. If you can catch every fish in these waters, I got a special price. Oh, so I, I should sell the fish to Willie whenever I get fishing. Oh, what's wrong? I thought we were done with the cutscene. Well, business has been tough. It all started about the same time the old community center fell into ruin. Me fish just don't sell like they used to. Oh my god, really? Okay, then I guess I have to go fishing. He's guilting me into going fishing. Okay. Oh wait, what's happening? Looking back there on old fun that seen better days. Hmm? What's happening? Someday you'll see what I mean. Oh, do we have to catch a bunch of fish for him? Or do we have to wait for the community center to be done? Cause there there is something that we need to do. Here's something back there for us that will like um open up another part of the world for us to travel. But I don't know if we have to finish the community center first or if we just have to like give him a bunch of fish. I totally don't remember. Alright, well, that's all I'm dead. Anyways, so, at that house, they, um, <laughs> like, the guy had a real saw, and he was pretending to, like, you know, chop up the mannequin, but then he would chase the kids, and these were, like, kids, they were not teenagers, they were, like, elementary school kids. He would chase the elementary school kids, and, like, for, for us, I was, like, I think it was, I think I was in, like, seventh grade at the time. And he would just chase anyone, even like babies, with the saw and chase them down the block. And he thought it was so funny. And some of the parents thought it was funny, too. And I just, I don't think we got candy from that house. I think I avoided that house because when I saw, like, a grown man running around with a saw chasing kids after it, I was just like, no, you probably, you, I think you need to go to therapy. <laughs> I don't think I should be talking to you. <laughs> and let's see, ooh. Can I give him more stuff? <gasps> oh, we have two hearts with him. I can't give him more stuff, but we have two hearts. <gasps> then wait, where's his cutscene? Oh, I'm I'm on his Wikipedia page right now. Where do I need to go for his cutscene? I want to get his cutscene. Enter his cabin when he's there. He's not there. Okay. Uh, well, when he, when does he go? When did he go there? Cause today is Monday. Okay, 6 p.m. 6 p.m. he will go back to his house. Okay, 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 okay. <gasps> oh my god, we're going to get a cutscene with him. And so, yeah, so I didn't go to that house to get candy. And I think he did try chasing us, but then he went after another group. And it's just, I don't understand. Because these are adults that are doing this. These aren't, like, teenagers. I, I never had, like, a teenager try to do that to me when I was a kid. But these are, like, full-grown adults. Like, in their 30s or up. Chasing kids with weapons, or sometimes fake weapons, for like their own amusement. And it's like, that's not the spirit of Halloween. <laughs> you know, if I wanted to get scared, I would go to like an actual haunted house, which I would like to go to one one day. But like, if I'm trick or treating, I'm just trying to find free candy. I'm not trying to get scarred or like pee in my pants. Come on now. I just want to get like a Kit Kat bar or Reese's Pieces. Come on. And it's always the adults. And, like, this is why I don't like adults. <laughs> Although I am one now. <laughs> but still, yeah, like, adults always ruined Halloween. Because I feel like just, like, every Halloween, something just comes up where, like, an adult just ruins it for everyone. <laughs> oh, I do want to get more blueberry seeds. I want to get five. Oh, how many more? 
think I have, I'll get tomato. Oh, they continue to hyphen stuff after you plant them. I'll just get like a bunch of tomatoes. Um, oh, I don't know what um, the community center wants us to do. Maybe I need to, I may need to get like a radish or something. Let me double check. But yeah, cause I do, I do really like Halloween. I do like the spooky aspect, but I just think the spooky aspect shouldn't be forced on people, you know? Like, if I want to have a little spooky moment, I would go to a haunted house or I'll watch a movie in my own place. Like, I wouldn't go outside and terrorize children. <laughs> I just don't feel like, I don't feel like you should just force that on them. Okay, I have tomatoes, hot pepper, blueberry, melon. Okay, cool, great. So I don't, I don't need to get a radish. Fuck these radishes. I don't understand radishes. I mean, I guess they're cool and all, but... I don't want to, I don't want to plant radishes right now. Because the blueberries and tomatoes, I just plant them once and they keep, you know, giving us more stuff. Which is the reason why they're more expensive. But I just feel like it's like lower maintenance. I'm like, yeah, see, whatever. Yeah. So that's kind of like my gamer girl aesthetic. Like, cute, spooky, purple. And I guess with pink accents. Because, unfortunately, if I want purple, it seems like you have to get pink with it as well. Which is fine. As long as it's not white. Cause I know the white stains really, really easily. And, oh, I don't have enough room for my tomatoes! <gasps> okay, fine. Well, I guess I'll just, I'll just put it... I mean, I could... But no, I don't... I don't it has to be in a line! Oh, my God. Right, if one of the wheat goes away, I'll put one in them. I'll just put it in here for now. I need- Oh, I wanna- I wanna give a wizard an amethyst! I wanna give a wizard that. Alright, cool. Boop, 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 Water these plants, water these plants. So that's my game ago aesthetic. And, oh, I still need to set up more lights. I have, like, an LED strip that I still need to set up on my- Can you see my hand? Oh, there it is. I need to set up on my, like, my shelves. So I can have, like, colorful lights back there. Because all I have is, like, my little- What do they call it? Devoom? It's like a- The- de the Devoom Planet 9, I believe. It's like that little circle thing. I found it on Amazon and it was like on sale. It was like a pretty good price on sale. And I was like, I have to get this. <laughs> and I do like it. And cause I think it's fun, you know, and also it helps when I sleep. Cause I like using the sleep timer, uh, where it's just like had like the red light and like you put it on like either from 15 minutes to 90 minutes. And like, it does help you kind of like get ready to go to sleep. Cause I do have an issue with falling asleep. Um, and like the melatonin gummies, I mean, they, they can only do so much for me, <laughs> but, um, but then, then they have like that little, um, cause then they have that devoom, oh, whoops, oh, I, I, just got, I had to, they have like that little, um, arcade looking thing where you can have like little pixel art showing on it. I do want to get that as well, but I do need to save up money for that. And I think I'll put it on the shelf as well. Maybe have like a cute little animation playing while I go on my stream. Yeah, I just feel like really need to like focus on like making the background look more pretty because I do have like a neon light. I just need to like hang it up over there. I positioned it in like the wrong area so it's like off camera when I wanted it to be in camera but I need to work on that and then I need to like work on my strip lights, the little LED strip lights so I can make the background look more pretty like more you know gamer-ish and like you know, LED and stuff like that, yeah. <laughs> because I think I get more into the decorating aspect of, like, my setup. Cause I just find that, like, really fun. I just like buying the cute little stuff and just, like, putting it in my room. But th I do need to get, like, more lighting. I do like my heart being light. I don't know if you can see it on my glasses. It's a little heart. <laughs> but, and then I do have, like, a light over here. But I wonder if I should get, like, like a light over here to maybe, like, balance out. If there's, like, any harsh shadows, I don't know. I mean, this lighting setup is way better than what I first started with. <laughs> because when I first started streaming, I just had, like, a little selfie ring light, like, that are meant for your phones. And, um, it, it was good for the time being. But then, like, the battery started giving out and started getting really old. The, um, um, I was like, I have to buy, like... A more professional lighting setup. And I thought these were cute. Cause I have like a little LED, like a small LED panel over here that I have set on like a purple color, and then I have like my 
heart ring light that I have set on like a more warm toned color because I'm very pale. I'm like translucent. So I have it on a warm color so you can't see my veins because <laughs> you will see them. <laughs> it's locked. What do you mean it's locked? I thought I could go in there with friends. Is he not there yet? Let's see, Fridays and Sundays. It's a Tuesday. Oh, it's a Tuesday. <gasps> no, that's Tuesday the 9th. Let's see, 6 p.m. leaves the forest and returns home for night. Okay, where is he? Is he a, he's a slow walker. Let's see. Elliot, where are you? <gasps> there he is. Okay, cool, great. I thought I thought we wouldn't get I thought we wouldn't get the cutscene. We got the Leah cutscene yesterday. So oh there's Alex, I'll talk to him. Hello, Alex. No, that's Sam. Oh, hello, Sam. I keep getting them mixed up. And then, oh, and then we'll go to get the Elliot cutscene. And then, we'll, oh, Leo is there. Did I talk to her yet today? Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's right, because she, she paints out over there. And then we'll get the Elliot cutscene, and then we'll go back home. Because for tomorrow, the next day in the game, um... We'll get a little letter from Mary Lewis. I just need to plug in my laptop. It's starting to die. Boop, 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 boop. Ah. Okay, cool. <laughs> when it's locked. What do you mean it's locked? He's home. Wait. Are you kidding me? Enter Elliot Cabins when he's there. He is there. Elliot. Am I not allowed to enter? I know that they have like different times on when you can enter their cabin, but normally they'll lock their door. Oops, I was stuck in that driftwood. Normally they lock their doors when it's like nine o'clock. Okay, well, whatever. I'll go to bed. <laughs> I'll go to bed now, and then we'll check in tomorrow morning for him. And then, oh, and then we'll get that letter from Bill Lewis because he has like a little errand for us. So we'll get that done. Let's see, let's see. I need to stop chopping down that tree. I want that tree to grow back. <laughs> I don't know why I chopped down that tree to get wood. I have like a lot of trees on my farm anyways. Okay, so I, I don't know why I grabbed the earth crystal. All right, so I'll put that away. Go to bed. Oh, did I, did I pet my dog? I did, okay, cool, great, great, great. Oh, and then I think it's gonna rain tomorrow, which is great. No, I don't wanna. Remind me tomorrow. I don't want to update my laptop right now. Okay, cool. Oh, how much money did I get? How much money did I get? Not that much, but that's okay. That's okay. Baby steps. Baby steps. We'll get rich one day. Don't worry. <laughs> I need to start saving my money. <gasps> oh, there was an earthquake during the night. Oh, I didn't even hear it. My headset is not connected to the switch right now. It's kind of on and off. It is like a Bluetooth headset, so I know like you can't connect to your switch via bluetooth but sometimes when i have it connected to the capture card i'll be able to hear the game audio <gasps> okay mayo lewis <gasps> all right did you, oh a crow did <gasps> no was it eating my crops oh that bitch oh my god i need to get oh i didn't even read it because <laughs> i saw the crow he ate one of my wheats <gasps> god damn it i didn't get to read it okay well anyway i don't have mail now <laughs> but anyway he lost his swords at Marnie's house. He's trying to play it off. They're like, oh my god, I don't know where I put it. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Can you please find the swords and give it back to me? And, you know, it's at Marnie's house. And you'll see where it is, you know, because Mayor Lewis is trying to be all slick. And this is why we had to get to two hearts with Marnie. Because you need to have two hearts with any character before you can enter, like, their house. And this is why we were working to get her two hearts. That we can just do it right away. Because you will see where it is. And now the thing is, his shorts, his underwear, is, you know, it, it, it's a pair of underwear. And the thing is, oh, it's blocked. I do it till it's 9 a.m. Okay, cool. The thing is, we can use it to bribe him. Well, not really bribe him. But, like, you know, if you're, like, a good person, you can find the shorts, give it back to him, be a nice, good town resident. Oh, I'm sorry, Shane. Wait, I want to talk to you. No, I don't have the time to chat with you. Are you sure about that? Oh my god, whatever. Now, you could be, like, a good resident. 
give back the shorts to Mayor Lewis, he'll be like, oh my god, thank you, thank you, give you money, and be on his way. But here's the thing, we're not a good resident, we don't like him, we don't like Mayor Lewis, he's corrupt, he's a corrupt man, and we have two options, and I think because we were able to be friends with money so fast, we're gonna go with this one option that I have in mind. So we find the shorts, and of course you find it in a very suspicious location and so we find the shorts get it and what we will do we're gonna check the calendar we're not we're obviously not gonna make it in this stream because like we have like less than half an hour left i'm gonna end at 10 but maybe in the next stream or even like two streams from now depending on like when the holiday is we can use the shorts to has said died in such an important moment we can use the shorts to embarrass mayor lewis and we can do it at one of the holidays which i will show you when we get to the calendar in the Times square you see oh look what is this it is a mayor's purple shorts right by Marnie's bed. This is Marnie's bed. This is where she sleeps, right here, right here, by this little log thing. I don't know why. Don't ask me why she has wood. Maybe she just likes sleeping with some wood. I don't know. I don't, I don't blame her. But this is Marnie's room. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Marnie's dresser. This is Marnie's dresser. Oh, a pair of brown suspenders. Oh, I did not know that. Mayor Lewis with brown suspenders. Oh my god, I did not know that. I was not. But see, this is Moni's room. This is her room. You see this? This is her room. Her rug, her bed, her dresser with Mayor Lewis's suspender in it for some reason. And what is this? Mayor Lewis's underwear. We shall pick that up. And they want us to return to Mayor Lewis, but we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. You wanna know why? Fuck him. That's why. We don't like Mayor Lewis. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk to my. I'm not gonna talk to my. I'm just gonna pretend that like I don't want her to know that we found the shorts because you know I don't really like Wangy that much, but I respect her a little bit, a little bit, a very small. I have an ounce of respect for her. So I don't want to talk to her and have her know like, oh my God, you went in the room, you saw his underwear. But here's what we're gonna do. So you have two options in the game. There's two holidays where you can do this, and I have a holiday in mind because we were able to be friends with her very quickly, just in time for this holiday. On the 11th, there's a luau, and Mayor Lewis, you know, the mayor of the town, invites the governor of um, my, wherever study value is, I don't know, like the, the, the uh, state governor, I have no idea, but he invites the governor, who's like a very official man, you don't want to embarrass, and Mayor Lewis says it, the government's coming to town, don't embarrass me, don't embarrass me. Cause we have to add an ingredient to the to the soup. It's kinda of like a potluck almost. And there's like a big community soup where everyone has to put an ingredient in to make the soup good. And he's like, Don't embarrass me, don't embarrass me. You better have something good to put in the soup. And yes, we do. We have your dirty underwear that we found in Marnie's room that we can add to the soup. And the governor takes a first bite of the soup because Mayor Lewis wants him to test it, you know, like, how does it taste? And he's going to taste Mayor Lewis's underwear soup. And that's what we're going to do because we hate Mayor Lewis. So we are not giving the shorts back now. No, and you can also wear it. <laughs> I think you can wear it. Yeah, 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 you can wear it. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I thought you could wear it. Oh, I think you have to... I think you have to have access to Emily's sewing machine in order to wear it, which we're not going to do. We're not going to. We want to put it in the soup. We want to put it in the soup because I don't know what happens. I never done this. In my main save, I gave him back the shorts like an idiot. But but when I was looking up on the Study Valley like Wikipedia page, this died. Are you kidding me? Oh, God damn it. Okay. Oh, we need to make another scarecrow. Because I was looking up in the Stardew Valley Wikipedia page, and they were like, yeah, you can embarrass Mayor Lewis by either putting the shorts in the luau soup, or if you if you weren't able to get be able to be friends with Moni in, like, enough time for the luau, you can put it, like, in, in the fall, there's a holiday where it's, like, like, a, like, a fair where people from out of town come in and see the town, and you can um, put stuff. Like, you have, like, a little stall where you can, like, show off, like, what you made in your farm and stuff like that. And you can put the shorts in there. And he'll he'll get pissed off, too. But I want to do it for the luau, for the soup, just because 
I think it'd be funny that the governor has to eat his stinky underwear juice. <laughs> Because you know, you know why the underwear was there. You know that he was doing the nasty with money. And you know what? The governor's going to taste that nasty. <laughs> He's going to taste it. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to put the shorts in the soup. I don't know. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll get to it in the next stream. Maybe not. It's like, it's on day 11, I think. I don't know. So what we're going to do, we're going to put the shorts in here. Our special little hiding spot. Special, special. You will never know. You will never know. <laughs> and that's what we do. We're going to put it in the luau soup. The governor is going to taste his swamp ass in that soup. <laughs> and Mayor Lewis is going to be so embarrassed. But that's good. That's what we want. Because we don't like Mayor Lewis. He treats money like shit, first of all. And he may have killed my grandfather. We don't know. That's a conspiracy going around the Stardew Valley community. He could kill my grandpa. So you know what? I'm going to embarrass him. We, don't, we do not like Mayor Lewis. This is an anti-Mayor Lewis account. And I don't want to hear anyone trying to defend him because I would uh, I would delete your message. <laughs> I won't block you, but I'll delete your message if you try to defend Mayor Lewis. <laughs> but yeah. This is an anti Mayor Lewis account, and we are going to put that in the Luau soup, which is on the 11th day. And oh, we should go to the mines. Yeah, we have like 20 minutes left. We could spend the last 20 minutes in the mines. So, yes, that's what we're going to do. So, our hard work finally paid off. But I spent the last three streams trying. <gasps> no, we're supposed to go to Elliot's house. Oh my god, I don't think we'll, I don't think he'll let us in. I don't think he'll let us in. It's raining. I don't think he'll let us in. We're not going to get a cutscene with him. <gasps> We're supposed to go to Elliot's house. Oh, my God. We have to go when he's, like, in his house. Ooh, I just saw an early development photo of Elliot. He did not look good. <sighs> Come on, where's his... Because they have different... Um, When it's raining... Oh, he's in his house all day when it's raining. Perfect, perfect. M maybe he'll let us in. Maybe he'll let us in. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I hope so. We're friends. Elliot. Little asshole. Do I have to be like four hearts with him to be? No, I have to be two hearts with him because it's a two hearts event in his house. That little jerk that let me in. <laughs> Come on, Elliot, let me in your house. I understand the last night it was late, but <gasps> oh, I can't. Oh, we're getting cutscene. Okay, great. This would be a great spot to leave off in. <gasps> Deidre, come in. I'm already in. <laughs> That's a nice piano. Welcome to my humble well shack. It's a nice house. I like it. This is my writing desk. It's where I spend most of my time. That's right, he's an author. He's an author. For as long as I can remember, I always wanted to be a writer. Have I told you that? No, but I looked up your book. Up. I stalked you before on Google earlier, so I know that you want to be an author. <laughs> That's why I live out here by myself. I figured a lonely life by the sea will help me focus on my... What the fuck? Literary, literary aspirations. I'm telling you, this guy uses fancy words. <laughs> And, like, it's not good for my stutter. <laughs> Everyone back home said I was nuts. That I could never make it as a writer. You know, fuck them. Fuck them. If you have dreams, go for it. Who cares about what the haters say? <laughs> Can you believe it? They said, for every successful author, there's a thousand who fail miserably. Sus what the hell, man? Such pessim pessimism? Pessimism? Like, pessimistic? Pessimism, I guess. It's sickening. This man uses way too fancy words. I can see it in your eyes. You believe in me, DJ. You got that spike. Why, thank you. I do believe in you. You know what? Who cares about them? If you want to do it, go do it. Don't listen to what they say. Now, that's inspiring. That's what I'm looking for. Wait, did he ask me to do it today? Should I should click on something. Oh, a question. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, cool. A question, DJ. What books do you like? Um, fan fiction. <laughs> Which I guess is romance, but like some of the romance films are like not romance films, like books. Some of the books are weird. I mean, I do like mystery. Cause I feel like some of the romance books they give you false expectations for a relationship that can be toxic one day. <laughs> sci-fi is cool, but do I read a lot of sci-fi books? I mean, back when I used to read. I mean, because school really made me feel tense about reading because they're like you need to read 100 pages by tomorrow and I'm like what so that I blame school for why I stopped reading because it just made it like this intense 
like like this this chore and i don't want reading to be a chore i want it to be fun i do want to get back into reading because i did like reading books but i like taking my own time and like just you know i i read i tend to read slowly because i like to visualize what happens and school was like no 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 you must analyze that's why i spoke no to shit i was like you're making this way too tense for me so i think i've read some sci-fi book um I don't know. I don't really go for, like, specific genres. I tend to, like, read the back of the book. And if I think it's interesting, then, like, yeah, cool, I'll read it. But mystery, I do like mystery. I'm a big true crime buff. I love watching documentaries and stuff. So I'll probably go for mystery. I like mystery. Mystery, huh? It's definitely an exciting genre. I remember that. <gasps> it's going to write a book for me. Oh, my God, is he going to write a book for me? <gasps> Is going to write, like, a true crime? Oh, my God. Well, enough talk about me. Oh, are we going to talk about me now? I've been talking a lot. Oh, you probably know a lot about plants, don't you? Oh, yeah, kind of. I guess. Oh, would you mind taking a look at this rose here? Yeah, I'm afraid it's not doing so well. Oh, I don't know how to deal with flowers. I kill flowers all the time. It is so difficult trying to, like, especially when they already cut the flower, it's going to die in, like, a week, give or take. <laughs> oh, now I can talk to him. Thanks for talking with me. I'll be thinking about what you said. Oh my god, am I gonna fall for him? I feel like I'm gonna fall for everyone. Cause I'm a little bit of a hopeless romantic, you know, if someone gives me an ounce of intention and they make me smile or laugh, I'm like hooked on them. <laughs> oh my god, am I gonna fall for Elliot? I do love Harvey though. I'm so loyal to Harvey, but I don't know. If Elliot does like a little rom com thing, I'll maybe like like oh my god. Am I going to fall for him? Um, this may be difficult trying to find out, like, a like a partner in this game. <laughs> I was a painting by Leah. See, him, well, him and Leah are good friends. So, I'm going to look around. Don't mind me and Elliot. I'm going to snoop. Let's see. Oh, it looks like Elliot is trying to grow a bonsai tree. Oh, those are difficult. Wow, cool. Can I play the piano? No. Oh, okay. What's this? Blank book. Okay, cool. I have a lot of empty sketchbooks. Sketch books not sketchbooks i don't even know what that means i have a lot of empty sketchbooks that like i never filled up i keep buying more <laughs> it's an empty cubby okay well there's like a little plant on there i want to see the plant how about this thing it's a mini palm imported from calico desert oh all right well can I no i can't talk to him okay well cool elliot thanks bye Ooh, what's that what's that so we finally got a cut scene we got a cut scene with um shane and Elliot, I think that's all that we got today, right? Yeah, yeah. No, and then Willie, we got three cutscenes. We got a cutscene with Shane, Elliot, and Willie. Oh, wow, we got a lot done. And we finally have two hearts with him. That's great. Okay, Pam, we have four hearts with Pam. <laughs> Wait, did we, did we talk to, did we talk to, we only have one heart with Linus. What does Linus like again? He does like, um... I know that he doesn't like pop, but he does like bread. We can give him bread. And then, oh, I, I probably sell the, um, the shell to Willy, because Willy does take shells. Okay, good. We finally got our, our cutscene with Elliot. I was so afraid that I messed it up again. Oh, Sebastian. No, no, I'm not me. I'll talk to Sebastian, too. I do like Sebastian, because I had an emo phase, and I have a soft spot for a boys with fringe. <laughs> With fringes, or really anyone with the fringe, I have a soft spot with them because I just really wanted, when I was emo, I wanted to have a partner that matched my aesthetic, and I never got it. <laughs> I was in middle school too, so okay, okay, he's just gonna say the same thing over and over again. We'll get you, Sebastian. We'll get you one day. <laughs> I think for Sebastian, I will um go up. I would try to seduce him along with Abigail because I think um we're going for Elliot and Leah now because I know nothing about them and then we're gonna go for um Alex and Haley next because again I know nothing about them and then um who was Sam paired with Penny so then I do know a little bit about Penny though Maybe we should go for, like, Emily and Shane. No, I, I don't know. I don't know. I do know that we're going to go for Alex and Haley next, for sure. But, um, I don't know. Should I go for it? There's nothing over by where the spring onions used to be. Um, I don't know. But we, we got the lucky shorts. So we have Mayor Lewis's dirty shorts. 
<laughs> and we're gonna get it for the Luel. Let me just double check. I think it is the 11th, and maybe it is the 12th. I don't know. It's like a week away in game time, so it'll probably take us like. I don't know if we even get it by next game. I had to put down more skip. Why are these all dying? Is it because they're getting too much water? Or is the lightning hit it? What the hell? <laughs> I'm so mad. Ugh, I just bought these. Oh my god. This sucks. This sucks. What I say? I'm gonna give Linus bread. I'll give him some bread. I don't have enough money to upgrade my tools yet. That's another thing. We need to, um... We need to upgrade our tours. Now, I think because I'm going to put his shorts in the Luau pot, that we're not going to get money for returning it. Because if you just give it to him, he gives you, like, why is it? I think, like, 200 or, like, maybe 300. But you know what? That's too low. I want a grand. Because <laughs> this is, like, blackmail material. <laughs> One red snapper. No, I'm not going to do that. I want to look at the calendar. Yeah, it's the 11th. Okay, it's the 11th. Oh, Marvel's birthday is on the 10th. Oh, should I give it something? I don't know. Uh, I want to give Linus his... Uh, Linus's... Linus's... <laughs> I want to give Linus, a, like, the loaf of bread. And then we probably... Ooh, I want to get that worm. There we go. Vox. Oh, and a sweet pea. I want to get that. Oh, you know who likes sweet peas? I think Evelyn likes sweet peas. We can give Evelyn a sweet pea. I want to be friends with Evelyn... <gasps> the passion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think what I'll do, because obviously, Harvey and Maru are going to be the last couple that we try to seduce, because I love Harvey and I love Maru. So obviously, I'm saving the best for us. <laughs> A gift? How nice. I don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. <laughs> Linus! One day. One day, Linus. Are we, do we at least get a heart, though? No, we only have one home. I thought we were gonna get like another home from the. Oh, that's what the earthquake. That's what the earthquake was. Okay, now we have this spot open. Okay, cool, great, awesome. Yeah, cause this is a bathhouse, which would be great for us, cause we can replenish our energy meter by taking a little dip at the. I don't know if it's a bathhouse or like let's go into a pool. I think it's like a bathhouse. So, and we can, like, if you get low on energy, especially from the mines, you can just, like, go over there, take a little dip, and then... Bip, bop, boop, good as good. Good as good as new. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I don't know, it's 9 o'clock. I won't be able to talk to Evelyn now. I think everyone closes their door at 9. So you can't visit them after 9. And it's on Wednesday, so no one's gonna be at the tavern. Mm. Alright, let's see. Well, then I can sell this stuff. And then we can probably wrap up the stream here. We have like eight minutes left, and I spent like at least five minutes talking. <laughs> Alright, let's see. So I have, we have the purple shorts. We are not. This is staying in here. Okay, because this is. Oh, this is great. This is great. We're going to use it for the luau. I was afraid that we probably wouldn't be able to get the shorts before the luau. But thank God. I remembered to befriend Marnie right away because I really want to see the reaction, like, of what Mayor Lewis has had to do. Why did I give the sweet pea to them? I wanted to give it to Evelyn. No, I can find another one. That's fine. That's fine. All right. And I have the scarecrows now, so the crows shouldn't be eating it. I wonder if my crops got struck by lightning and that's why they're, like, dying like that. I don't know. Is it going to rain tomorrow? Okay, no, it'll be sunny. I don't know. Can this crop get struck by lightning and then that's how, like, they kind of, like, die? I don't know. That could happen. I know that the, the lightning can destroy your fences, but I don't know. It could go after my crops. Oh, my God. We made, like, no money. <laughs> Alrighty. Day four of the summer. Because I think... Because we started on, like, the 26th, and now it's day four. So it, it seems like every stream we at least get through, like, six days in game. So it may not be the next stream where we have the Luau, but, like, the stream after that. So, like, next Thursday, right? Is it day Thursday? Yes. So next Thursday, maybe the stream where we go to the Luau. Because I think for the next stream on Tuesday, this upcoming Tuesday, we may... 
and right at the loo, like maybe like at like day ten or something. I'm not so sure. <gasps> she gave her something. Oh my god, what a great way to end the stream. Hey, I thought it'd be fun to send you a letter. I didn't really know what to write though. Here, I enclosed a tweet for you. Don't tell anyone, but I snagged this from the back of JoJo Mart years ago. Okay, see you soon. Oh, but I'm pretty sure if we talk to him, he's gonna be like, "What are you doing? Leave me alone!" I swear to God, she tried to play hard to get. We only have two hearts with him. Oh, we have. Oh no, we don't. Leah's up here. I was gonna say we have more hearts than Elliot than with Leah. Okay, cool. We can't give Elliot any more gifts. We can still talk to him. We need to give gifts to Leah. So then the next cutscene for both of them is at the four hearts. So we need to work on that. And then, um, oh, I should probably, well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna quit it, like, right here, so I'm not gonna bother watering it right now. But we have pizza! Ooh, how exciting! I'll probably give that to, um, I think Shane likes pizza. Would it be rude to give him the pizza that he sent us? I want him to like us more. No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't give him gifts. I shouldn't give him gifts. Cause we're not focusing on seducing him right now. We're only focusing on Elliot and Leah. So I'm not gonna give him gifts. I'm not gonna give any of the bachelor bachelors gifts except for Elliot and Leah right now. I think that's what I think that's a good thing to do. We can talk to them, but we can't give them gifts. I think that should be the rule. Because I mean, Shane's already at two hearts with us. We already saw a cutscene with him. And I don't, I don't want to get all the cutscenes jumbled up, you know. I don't know. So we are not giving gifts to anyone, not even Harvey. I know it's sad, but we're, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. Very cool. So let's see. Okay, we have like four minutes left. I think we did pretty good because Pam is apparently we're like besties with Pam, and we got two hearts with Leah. We saw her cutscene last stream. I think like near the end. And then we got a cutscene with Shane today for some reason. But we need to stop talking to him. Well, no, we can talk to him. But, like, don't give him gifts. I did give him a gift, I think, like, two streams ago. We can only give gifts to Elliot and Leah. We're not going to focus on money because we already got the purple shorts from her. So we don't really care about her anymore. But, um, well, no, I mean, we can give gifts to, like, the non, like, single people. Like, the people that we can't marry. We can give gifts to them. And to, like, see their cutscenes. But for the Bachelor, the Bachelorette... Only Elliot and only Leah. No one else. Because I don't want to, like, advance too far with other people when, like, we're focusing on other, like, a, a different pair. So, we got a cutscene with Leah last stream. We got a cutscene with Shane this stream. You got a cutscene with Elliot this stream. And then we got one with Willie. Let me see Willie. I don't think we even have a heart. We don't even have a heart with Willie, so I don't know why you got a cutscene with him. Uh, I guess it's, like, they're trying to tell us, go fishing more. <laughs> but, um... And then there was an earthquake and opened up the little uh, spot near the back. So we have this, oh, the spot, it's called a spot. So we have, we have the spa now. And, um, and we, we, oh, we have a coop. Oh, we need to buy chickens. I forgot to do that. I think they're like a grand though. That's right. We have a coop over here. I totally forgot about the coop. We made a coop. That's right. And then we finally made a forest. We still need to work on the mine and we are waiting till the luau to give Mayor Lewis his shorts back. So, oh, I need to have that in my inventory when we go there. I had to remember that. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> but um, I think we did pretty good so far. You know, I feel pretty happy with the progress that we're making. You know, it is a fourth stream and obviously our farm is still a little small, but we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. You know, it's kind of slow when you first start it. And then once like you get like way more crops and like more money to have more crops, you're, like, making, like, two grand, like, a, a day. So, we're still getting there. I think we have a pretty good size now. We have, like, 60, like, little, well, not almost, well, almost 60. Some, we lost some of them from the storm and a crow. So, I had to make more skill. <laughs> um, look, we're doing pretty good, I feel like. Um, we don't have that much money because I keep spending it, but that's okay. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna acknowledge it right now. I'll acknowledge the issue in the next stream. And, oh, my dog. My dog's over there. That's Gumby. That's right. His name's their name's Gumby. Gumby. Okay, cool. So I think we did pretty good. Uh, we got three cutscenes. We finally got two hearts with Elliot, which is what I wanted to do. I said I wanted to at least get two hearts with him before the end of the stream. So let's so our next goal in terms of seducing is getting four hearts with Leah and Elliot. Um, so that's gonna be our goal next time. I don't know if we'll achieve it, but like we'll work on it. And then we need to get to level 40 in the mines. 
and that's pretty much like all of the little quests that we have. Yeah, we just need to get level 40 in the mind. We already have the purple shorts somewhere, Lewis. So that's our main objective the next time. Elliot, Leah, Mines. That's what we're going to do. And also, like, focus on our crops because it's like a new season. We need to make more money that can decorate my farm more. Yeah, I think we did pretty good. So let me just set up my clock. <laughs> A moment, gotta set up the clock a little bit, my little countdown clock. All right, cool. So yeah, so I think next time on Tuesday, that's right, Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time, which is Chicago time, we're gonna be playing Stardew Valley again. We're playing that until July 29th, and then switching back over to Legend of Zelda to work on that some more, cause we have a lot of progress to making that as well. But um, yeah, so. On Tuesday at 8 p.m., I'll be working on Stardew Valley more, seducing Elliot and Leah before we move on to Alex and Haley, and also making our farm, like, a, you know, larger and better and more rich. We want to be more rich. <laughs> and and um, also decorating. I really need to decorate the farm. I don't know if I have enough money in the next room to decorate it, but one of these days, we would decorate it and make it look pretty. <laughs> but yeah, I think we make a lot of good progress today. Um, we were, like, apparently we're, like, really good friends with Pam. We're, like, really good friends with Pam. And apparently we're getting good friends with Shane, too. So we're making a lot of progress in terms of relationship. I want to work on George and Linus some more in the next stream. And also Evelyn. We don't have a hype with Evelyn. So I want to talk to Evelyn, George, and Linus, like the, like the regular players. Um, in the next stream as well, because I know they have cutscenes. I don't know how many, but like I, I want, I want to get to know them as well. I want to be friends with them too, and then of course seducing Leah and Elliot. Of course we're gonna do that, and then hopefully we can embarrass and expose Mayor Lewis at the Luau. That may be like next Thursday though. We probably won't get to that on Tuesday. I don't know. Now unless I play off stream a little bit. Just to, like, um, maybe, like, get money or something. I have no idea. Maybe we just clean up the farm. I don't know. But, yeah, I think we made pretty good progress. So then for Tuesday at 8 p.m. Central Time, we'll just keep on seducing them. You know? And, like, we'll be a step closer to seducing the whole town. Well, we're not that close yet. Cause we have to have at least eight hearts with them before we can start dating them. But we're, like, a fourth... Wait, let me, let me count. Well, yeah, we're like a fourth of the way though. We have two hearts with both of them. So we're like, we're, we're making progress, we're making progress. It's like the fourth stream. So I feel like we're making pretty good progress. We're already like a fourth of a way through seducing them and dating them. But yeah, so I will see you guys on Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central Time for more Stardew Valley. I'll probably clean up the farm a little bit off stream and just, you know, kind of do like the more tedious stuff off stream so we can focus on the drama in stream. And who knows, maybe we will, maybe we will be able to see the luau in the next stream. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I'll have to see. I'll have to see how much work I do off stream with cleaning up the farm and stuff like that. Maybe we will get to see the luau or not. All right, but let me get the music playing, and let's see. Let's get that. All right. Ooh, that's kind of loud. Let me turn that off for a second. <laughs> All right, and so then I will see you guys at Tuesday at 8 p.m. for more Stardew Valley. All right, bye, guys.